All right, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, that Bandulce, coming at you with another video. Uh, picking up where we left off, back here on the farm, and uh, let's just go. We gotta go look around the uh, perimeter, apparently. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully, it'll never come to that, but thanks. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately, they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and Gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. <laughs> well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Never know what? Hmm? Hmm? What you got? Oh, it's just us two. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy. Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. <laughs> we'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. No, he won't. He's, There's one. he's a piece of crap. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Yeah, I hope so. Let's take this arrow off first. Disgusting. Get off. Get off the fence. Back. Back. You disgusting on, monster. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Uh, what do you what mean, mean by that? Yeah, what do you mean? I don't know. They seem decent enough. 
I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's oh, facts. yeah, thank you. There's another one. I see it. I don't think that one's dead, though. Oh, his hands are stuck. Get off. Yeah, gross. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. His hands got stuck there. He just, he just left Christ. him. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right, I can suck it up. <laughs> Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. Mm -hmm. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. Ah, <clears throat> uh, I think it's a bad idea. A little help here, Lee? Coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Push! Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh! <laughs> what the? Get to the gate! Idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. You didn't deliver the goods. Now we're gonna take what's ours. I see him. Get closer. You don't see nothing. Can't hide forever. No fuel. Of course. Can't. Yeah. Oh, sugar. Honey applesauce. Show yourself. Ah! You assholes. I already got one of you. I got you now. That's a brick. Get out the way. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the Shit bunker. hurts. <laughs> The sound it makes when it bounces off the top of the truck sounds so cartoony. Oh! What happened? Shit! It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. What the heck did we do that? Go go! Another one? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? I thought we only pushed like one. This one's not part of it. Get off! Get off me! Oh! Yeah, that was gross. <laughs> His face. Can't gas me, boy. Ah! Ah! Nice, they got him. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches! Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. Can't they just come in through there too? fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. 
Oh, my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now, we'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. Mm. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Jesus, Lee, say something. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. Yeah. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets Whoa. there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Okay. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Nice. Nice, nice. Now we get to explore a little bit. Hey, Clem. Do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. I don't think it was just on it, but. <laughs> How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Oh. Well, since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Mmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope I so, too. So too. I think we're safe here. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Yeah. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. <laughs> they look happy. Yeah, of course they do, man. Can I talk to Kenny? Ah, he's gonna hit me. He had to walk all the way around just to talk to Kenny. Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. How you I don't know. I hope they feel <clears> this, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. 
hands shaking, cold sweats, thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? Yeah, Lily doesn't I want guess, a beer. Uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that yeah. motor in and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course, of course. Lily's judgment is You're clear, my boy. But you got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. What? Well, if everything works out. Maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny, considering you didn't seem too worried about Duck back at Herschel's farm. That's hey! That's the past, Kitty. Lots happened since then. Yeah, right. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy for Kenny to say that after I consult consulted him or whatever. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I can't be crazy for saying that one. I've got some things to take care of. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. 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 I can look at this. Look at that. There's a barn over there. Oh, can you use the gate? Oh, can I look? Can I go over here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Over here, some hay. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Uh huh. Well, who's over here? Uh, uh, I don't really want to talk to them. But whatever. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? I hope so. I, knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Oh, yeah? yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? What you mean? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Mm. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? Whoa. Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. And not giving my dad food. That was cold. What? Hey. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Yeah, would you like Mark? Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. <laughs> it's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. She be coming at me crazy. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Because he's racist. Does he treat you like that too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just he's yeah, he's got a, a lot guy. of pain. He's been through pain. so much and lost all right, all right. pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, sure. Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself and me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably going to keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Uh, I hate you so much, oh man. Screw you. I don't feel bad. I didn't give you any stupid crackers or, or jerky or whatever, man. Get off my get off my back. 
Oh, what's that? Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Yeah. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Can't open it? Hmm. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Don't need nothing from here, I guess. Alright, let's go see about that, about the camp. Fellas, hey, Peter, Lee. look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. It looks a little but scary. How? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work in the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, let's go. Let's hey, go. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. I got you, Clementine. I'm literally the main character. Don't worry. I got this. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Oh shit, you found it? Uh, you think it's I wonder there's people there? Looks like they could be people. Oh, well, they got a lot of food there. Well, maybe it's a lot of food. Anybody? No, I don't see nobody. Can't tell. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. I don't. I don't remember. If there's walkers in there, or just nobody. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some. I saw. Here I saw something. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. The pot. The pot's so hot. Just water. Wait, go back. Nothing but fuels. Shit. Uh, the gas. Anything in the box? What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Yeah. 
What's that? Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. That's it. Shopping cart. Mm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Yeah. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. I didn't mean to click on it twice. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Empty. Hmm. What was that? Is it MP3? That was a camera. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. You said good? I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Not really. Not really, sucker. Stop lying to people, bro. I feel like I gotta sneeze pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hold it. Oh, man. A picture? No. Probably the kid. Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. Oh, I so it's a crazy lady. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're Whoa. not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want, and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> uh, listen. Go on. Tell him, boy. <clears throat> Tell him what you got in mind for. Oh. Damn. God damn it! Thanks, I guess. Well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. <laughs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. 
What a waste of what? So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. Oh yeah, I don't so, think yeah, so either. Let's get back. Let's get Once the heck. They see this, they'll get the message. Let's get the frick out of here. Nice little crossbow. He's a little creepy. Come on. He looks like something out of uh, like he like one of the family mem family members of the uh, Chainsaw Massacre, like that family. I forget what the, I forget what their name was. I should try to say I stole Clementine. That's not I ain't steal no Clementine. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. Yeah, I guess we handled it for sure, whatever. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? What the hell is Terry? My husband. Huh. Miss him every day. Miss then me Then screw it up for day. everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. Sounds like it's about to rain. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? <laughs> yeah, you can say that. Yeah. Well, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We Maybe. all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. So. Alright, let's go check on the... Uh... On the on the on the kids and the cow. Ah, oh. kill little Clementine. We gotta give her the hat though. I talked to her. Why? Alright, it looks like it sounds like it's about to rain, but it it Loki sounds like it's not in my. Lie in the game, it sounds like it's outside. And nighttime already? Oh no, it's just the, the, the clouds. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. Go ahead. It's okay, go ahead. <laughs> she looks so scared. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. Like a salt lick? What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Clementine. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Yeah. There's your stinking yeah, hat. Time. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Yeah. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? What the heck? I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Oh. How do you like that cow, Clem? Oh. <laughs> She's pretty. I already heard her say that. All right, sorry. What's up with you, Have duck? I anything? No, not really. Mm, 
It smells funny in here. Like shit, right, Lee? Ah! Uh. Hey, don't use swear words, okay? Okay. <laughs> How do you like that? Uh, I didn't. Mean, I thought I was. I She's thought that freaking kidding. um, the uh, the chat marker was for Kaja, not. I didn't read. I can't read. I'm sorry. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Hmm. Um, when do you think uh we might eat? <laughs> Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. I'm Thanks. not gonna. I'm not gonna ask nope. him about the in front of everybody. I think that's a little crazy. Another salt. What are salt licks for? I want to play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Hey, get out of here, kid. What the heck? Here go more of those boxes. Empty. Oh, I can't look at all of them? Or is it just, how many are over here? in this one oh, my leg my leg is itchy nothing what's this it's a feeding trough feeding trough all right get out of here all right one more one more door actually two more doors that big one and this one oh what's that looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes Ooh, smells pretty foul. Oh, don't look right. You gonna let me look through all this stuff? You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know yeah. you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Mm. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? <laughs> well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. <laughs> Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Oh, come on, Kenny. Nothing. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn. Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. 
Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, uh -huh. the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Mm. Why he get a little nervous, huh? Why he get a little nervous? Bunch of crap. Mm. I get distracted by I need a screwdriver. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Gross. Gross. Alright, I think there's a tool, right? There's toolboxes right here? Or somewhere around here? Yes, sir. Toolbox. It's a small toolbox. Oh yeah, make use of pliers. It's a multi tool. Multi tool. That should be handy. Yeah, take it. Multi tool. Ah, oh, I gotta scroll. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine oh. here. I didn't mean to click it. would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Alright. <clears throat> hmm. Guess I'm going to need a screwdriver for this. No one, no one saw me do yeah, this. That should do it. He took the whole belt. Fucking Danny, where did he find this piece of shit? No oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Run, run, run. That was my chance. Go. Why can't you run this game? <laughs> go, go. Alright, he's distracted. I don't know why it gets so dark in here. I gotta run. Run, hurry up. I don't even want to talk to Kenny right now. No, the supper. Mom, Dad, dinner time. It's dinner time. Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Hurry up! I get, I get anxiety. Or goosebumps, man. The sh not anxiety, but you know, like, I get anxious. That's what I meant. Hurry up! Oh, yeah, I unscrew all of them. The screw's holding it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. Oh, uh, obviously. Come on. You got. I gotta scroll down for each one. Can't I just um, take them out? Did he not catch any of the screws? He just let them all fall. you hear the bell dinner time uh damn why was there so much blood in there 
Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So, so you see, nothing to worry about. Hmm. I don't know, boss. Damn, man. He said he gonna make me an excuse. He ain't make me no excuse. Excuse me, miss. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Alright, so... I think I'm gonna end it here. Uh, it's been a, a, a while. I don't know how long I got left. If I'm being honest. Probably not that long. But I think that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll finish this. I should finish the next one in the next episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.